Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. If I can welcome you to your own church tonight, we celebrate the eternal feast, Our Lady of Sorrows. That links us particularly to the Servite Order, who served Bogna for so many years. The prayers of the Mass are taken from the Servite Missal for this day. Very grateful to Father Chris for kindly inviting me to come back and celebrate this Mass with you today. Not every parish priest won't see his past. <laughs> but uh, I'm very glad, glad to be here tonight with you all. So we ask the prayers of Our Lady as we begin our Mass, calling to mind our sins. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted. <clears throat> and you yourself a sword will pierce so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mother of Sorrows is also the mother of Christian hope. As children of Mary, we are called to witness to Jesus Christ in our own lives. Confident in knowledge, as Pope St. John Paul wrote, that Mary leads us to Christ and that Christ leads us to his mother. We fly to thy patronage, O holy mother of God. Despise not our prisons in our necessities, but deliver us from all danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Lord, in the mystery of redemption that we celebrate, the blessed Virgin herself took an active part. Consume our sacrificial gifts with the fire of the Holy Spirit who destroyed sin and opened the doors of heaven for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <coughs> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the ever shadow of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, not losing the glory of virginity, for forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. To him the angels praise your majesty, dominions at all, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly to your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, and all those of holdings of truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servant and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command to be delivered from eternal damnation, and count from the flock of those who have chosen. Be pleased, O Lord, as we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable. It may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, 
our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. Once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> Oh, 
just have two uh, little things to say. Uh, the first is, please do come into the parish centre after Mass to continue our celebration. Um, everybody is most welcome uh, in the parish centre. And the second is this, that just before Mass, um, as we were talking in the sacristy, I thought I'd better introduce our young server, Jack, to <coughs> Canon Tony. And I said to Jack, Jack, have you met Canon Tony Churchill? And Jack said, yes. And Canon Tony said, remind me, when was that? You baptised me, Jack said. <laughs> <coughs> so Jack has particular cause to thank God for Canon Tony's ministry. As indeed do I, because when I was discerning a vocation to the priesthood, it was to Father Tony, as he was then, that I was sent, and over a period of time, I don't know if you remember this, Tony, we uh, chatted and prayed <coughs> and reflected on the scriptures. So I would like to say thank you to Canon Tony for his support and encouragement, but most particularly for the witness of his joy in the priesthood. So thank you kindly for that. And I'm sure that there are so many of you here who have your own reasons to give thanks to God today for <coughs> Canon Tony's ministry. So please join me in saying thank you to Canon Tony, in saying thank you to God for his 50 years of priestly ministry, and in saying ad mortis annos. Thank you kindly. <laughs> I think, Jack, I didn't do too bad a job, did I? <laughs> I'm very pleased to have been able to come and celebrate Mass here this evening. Also, um, again, I repeat my thanks to uh, Father Chris, also to our readers, our servers, and to Liz and the choir and our organists. A very heavy organ, in full, full, full flood. Great thing to get that done. Also, a joy that Father Victor is here tonight because I know he celebrated his silver jubilee a few weeks back. I, I have met Father Victor before. Uh, I won't tell you exactly about how it was, but in, in Nigeria, in, in Enugu, I think. Abuja, Abuja, that's right. Um, and he's not the only person I met in Nigeria. Sister Annette Sullivan here, the front is still working as a sister in Nigeria. And so two people here from that time in Nigeria. So I must tell you, it's wonderful to see the church in Nigeria. Very different to here. Uh, the numbers, of course, are enormous. And no way about time. None of this sort of... It starts when it starts. It finishes when it finishes. And no one bothers about that. Great atmosphere, isn't it? <laughs> so, again, I look forward to seeing you all downstairs afterwards. The Lord be with you. Yes. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life.